What's up, guys? Emily here with M Loves talking about platonic date number seven. Uh, this was someone I reached out to who was in the industry and was doing something similar to what I had done. And I thought it was so cool. And I was so nervous to reach out to this person because I felt like they were out of my league. So if you're ever feeling like somebody is out of your league, um, that's great. That's a great sign that you are reaching out and leveling up and um, you know, keep in mind that you have amazing things to offer too. So just because you feel like someone's out of your league, uh, if they agree to meet with you, then they see something in you that you may not be seeing in yourself. And, um, I have an exercise in my program where I have my clients give me a hundred reasons why they feel they deserve their ideal woman. And something about this too, if you feel like you always end up with women who are not really like you're not excited about them, you might be settling for people you think are gettable rather than the, the ones that you want. So um, hopefully this story will help to inspire you. I definitely felt like this person was out of my league. They were getting a lot of, um, you know, a lot of coverage for what they had created in the, in the dating space. And I thought that was really cool. And I reached out to them and I would love to form a, obviously a platonic relationship, even a business working relationship and um what i found is what i've been finding is that you know for um industry professionals it seems a bit harder to form relationships that are that go beyond like working relationships like you would think that oh yeah the most compatible people are going to be people who do what you do or who are in your industry and i think that can be the case but it also um it also can make it feel a little sterile it can make it feel a little competitive. It can make it feel a little bit um, very buttoned up, I guess. And while I felt great about the conversation and, um, you know, we had a lot in common, I also felt intimidated, I guess. And um, and I, I wouldn't know how to move that into a, like a friendship. Um, and I felt that way with a lot of, I've done actually several like platonic meetings with people in my industry where I think like what they're doing is so cool and we have so much in common, but for some reason, um, getting to know them professionally seems to begin a relationship just from a professional level. And I find it's a little bit harder to then move that out of, um, the professional side and into like a friendship. Um, so I will continue to look at ways to do that, but I'm curious. And if, if you have found that you were able to move a relationship that maybe started in your industry or in the workplace into a romantic, into a romantic space, um, I would love to learn more about how you did that. It's definitely possible. Um, you know, I think inviting someone to meet up for coffee and then sharing information about your life. That's more personal as opposed to more professional. Um, I guess it, it, uh, it's hard when, you know, the purpose of, it's hard when somebody doesn't live local. So I think for, for dating, this is a lot easier. You can easily just invite them for coffee and, um, intersperse like personal topics into conversation. But what I'm finding is that it's actually kind of weird to, um, to connect with someone professionally and then try and change the relationship into a personal one. But I also think, um, you know, this person in particular, we were very different in age. So I think it could have something to do with just the chemistry that comes from being either like a similar age, um, or just being local. I'm not sure, but, um, it was a great connection. I don't know how I would move it forward and create a friendship out of it. Um, other than just like, yeah, being, being a cheerleader for them, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it definitely didn't feel like it would progress into that, but I did enjoy the conversation and I was proud of myself for reaching out, even if it felt a little out of my comfort zone. So, um, yeah, just be proud of what you're doing. And, and if, if something feels forced, like as much as it was cool to connect, it did feel a little forced for some reason, um, could be an age difference. It could be a lot of things, but if it feels forced, usually that's a sign that like, um, it's not a deep compatibility or something is prohibiting it from moving into 
um, I guess a more vulnerable space. So that's what I would say about this, this platonic date, but it was a great opportunity to connect with somebody who was doing similar work, which was pretty cool. If you're looking for dating and romantic advice, um, and you're interested in doing a mega dating experiment and having guidance and support throughout the experiment, head on over to mloves.com. You can learn more about my coaching program or watch my free masterclass, which is linked below this video. If you like this video, guys, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.